now if there's a person in front of us we can like can straight up just read their mind uh the other thing though the rare ancient coins to be mint is um in the bible and in the quran trying to think so he holmes gregory holmes that guy he wants to um they can't control every human like they can't they technically can but supposedly that takes away from other stuff the devil's thorn um be used to uncover the best so all demons ow, what the I just got a cramp in my arm. That's weird. Um, all demons came to the conclusion that they wouldn't take over every human because then it would just be demons running the world. But what he wants to do is convince the people, Sir Gregory, to to basically not have free free will. Like he's willing to control them, sort of, in a way. But I don't think officially. Um, the other thing is Lord Mortimer, even though he seems bad, um, he wants Louis, the humans always, to I have see. their own How lucky you are. perspective. I must admit, I'm trying to kill the boredom myself. Which I think that. Uh, I get the impression we're all in the same boat. I, I'm Here starting I to side with Mortimer again. Gossip. Just because of how honest he is and everything, too. Also, uh, our mother died. Along with, uh, Emily's twin. They shot each other at the same time. So, she's not around anymore. <laughs> Which sucks, but... Me? No, nothing at all. And you? I would like to be able to say yes, but it's been dead quiet. The only one with anything to say is Duke Manuel. But with that accent of his, I don't understand a word he says. It's exasperating. Right. <laughs> I've wasted enough time. I'll keep our conversation to myself, Mr. President. Anyway, apparently I must be going she now. did. See you later, Louis. Because right before we went to go see her. Um, we didn't get to ask her, unfortunately, but right as we were going to see her, um, Mortimer told us, he was like, ask her about the day, it was, he gave the day and the time, Louis, or I the, was sure you would stay. the year. I'm proud of you. You have made the right choice. You and, must have uh, been disappointed not to have been able to speak to Sarah one last time. I would have liked her to tell you herself. Yeah, well, I think he's about to say. I guess I'll never know now. True. Even so, there is one more thing I haven't told you about her. Sarah was my daughter. What? What? But why didn't you tell me the truth about her? I thought that might be too many truths to absorb at one time. So I intended she's not to tell dead. you afterwards. You were in a hurry, so I made a decision. You've been able to understand and choose for yourself. How do you feel? Hard to say. Intrigue. I'm curious to find out more. My whole way of thinking has been blown apart in just a couple hours. What could be more normal? It may have been a bit brutal, but you've just grown up in a very short space of time. From now on, you can influence your own future. I will guide you. We've all the time we need. You're not the first to make me that offer. What do you mean by that? Your brother, Sir Gregory. Gregory. Why am I not even surprised? What did he say? We can read his mind, but supposedly reading other demons' minds is uh, very ill, like ill will. I've been given to understand that you have a difficult relationship with your father. Isn't that right? Let's just say we don't see things the same way. I ended up finding out that there's a world outside the rules he has imposed on us. Men could do the same thing of demons. It seems you find yourself in the same position that you've placed men. You were told what to do, what to think, 
and you found it unbearable. Imagine if humanity finds out you secretly direct them. How do you think they'd react? Hmm. Your analogy is not without substance. But that's where it ends. Man's main flaw is his willingness to forget and to make the same errors time and again. He can't help it. He is mortal. I don't impose anything on anyone. I'm just following my own path. But where does it lead? Hmm. I, I suppose I should explain. For centuries now, demons have emerged in and around great leaders all over the world. But like true tyrants, they have governed with an iron fist in a studded glove. That's the impression I get. But you see, people's discontent is increasing. And they are too high up to hear it. They take themselves for gods. Sooner or later, the people will turn against us, just as they have in the past. Each time it's happened, many of us have died. We must master the humans, yes, but gently. And the best way of doing that is by allowing them a free choice, Louis. You really are trying to liberate men. Of course, not entirely, no. It is easier to keep control over people who slumber than people who are oppressed. A man with nothing to lose is a dangerous man. Whereas, if you give him a roof, food, and entertainment, he will do whatever you want. The best way of getting them to achieve something is to make them think it was their idea. For that, they have to feel as if they are free. Hang on, what do you mean? Look at the United States. From the start, I introduced an idea that will change everything. The idea that everything is possible. Everyone can become someone. Is there anything more beautiful? You mean it's not true? Man can move mountains when he believes it is in his own interest. And what nobler cause is there than his own freedom? Do you have any more examples? Of course. Talk to me about slavery. Well, take the slave trade, for example. It's an archaic practice that simply has to stop. Today, black slaves of America work for free and in unbearable conditions. Tomorrow, if you free the blacks and offer them work along with a salary, they will bless you for it. Then, they will be integrated into the system. They will be taxable. Once they are free, they will have to work for a roof, pay taxes, and feed their families. Maybe we could take away the civil rights of prisoners, for example. In this way, we'll keep control of all those who hmm. respect the system and benefit from the others as workforce. But the most important of all has already been laid. The foundation stone, freedom of speech. The first amendment of the constitution. There must be opponents to every project. So, above all, don't develop a one-track approach, otherwise man won't have enough room for expression to feel free. If man sees his chains, he will only want to break them. If we give men the feeling that they are free, I am convinced that they will exceed their limits. And it is only from that condition that humanity shall rise up. But do you want to dominate or raise humanity higher? I want it to advance. I want it to progress. Man is our vessel. If he progresses, then so yeah, do we. So we. Wouldn't you like to know what we really are? Who do you mean? Demons? Yes, us. Our species. I've been searching for centuries, trying to find a way to explain the reason of our existence. But humanity has not yet evolved enough to make any progress on the subject. I am convinced that the sciences will Every bring that knowledge someday. Will probably double -cross so, yeah. that's your objective, is it? To understand who we are. It's still. Why not? After all, it's yeah, but it's still manipulation. But it's I not see as bad. Our family clings to its privileges and to the past, and that's how they are putting us in danger. The time has come for change. Now that you know your true nature, there are still a few things I need to teach you. What do you mean exactly? A new skill. And not the least, Louis. It's about taking control of a person. Oh shit, yo. I'm ready. Okay, let's not waste any more time. <laughs> <laughs> I deduce that you're impatient to master what's in store for you. That is good. That would be so cool if I you can replay the game with all the skills. Time. 
What do you mean by hey, that? That would be the amazing. The conference will come to a close shortly, as you know. Not that I'm fed up with archaic diplomacy, but it's time to ensure the success of this project. To make this happen, I would like Piaget to inform the Pope he has changed signs. You... You're going to use your powers to alter the votes? The real game is about to begin, Louis. Up till now, the guests have been sizing each other up. From now on, it's time for Gregory and myself to play. As well as you yourself. Now, here is my plan. I would like you to join his eminence in his room. Just play along. We'll see when the time comes. Very well. And then? You're going to have to trust me. What we're going to do is painless for the human you are going to invade. Invade? Yes. You're going to enter his mind and take control. You're going to influence his actions and his psyche. Make him speak, then concentrate. You must focus on him in order to feel his thoughts. Then, while speaking, I'm so glad that I played through him. this game. Once you're done, and stuck you will with naturally it. find your way to the source and enter into his thoughts. But what if I fail? Trust in your instincts. Is that George Washington? Just have to let yourself go. You have the skill. Let your nature come to I don't fall. think so. You'll see. If you fail, you'll be in for some light banter with his eminence. That's all. There's nothing to be afraid of. Very well. Perfect. Go now. The Cardinal is in his room. You will have to write a letter to the Pope as if Piaggi had written it himself. In this letter, tell the Pope that whatever happens during the conference, he must follow my propositions. But be careful. In order to protect himself from counterfeiters, the Pope had Piaggi's hand tattooed with a symbol to be sure of his identity. You'll see when you're inside him. You'll understand. <laughs> Once it's written up, just bring it back to me and I'll send it off immediately. All right, I'll take care of it. This is wild. This just adds an entire new like gameplay aspect to this game. Room. Okay, where is he at? Room. I know he's... He's somewhere on here. Monsieur Johann van Wulner. Johan van von Wonder. I think he's like on one of the outer rooms. This isn't it, is it? Adam's room? Adams? Who's Adam? Oh, John Adam. Uh oh. George Washington's. I think his room is coming up. This? No. I think it might be this one. Monsignor, his yep. eminence cardinal. Yeah, see, it doesn't even show it. Ah, well, Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm going to pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. Speak about... About demons. Politics. Do you believe in demons? What are you uh, talking about, Louis? Where is he going with this? I can feel something. 
demons, Your Eminence. I am a cardinal. Of course I believe in evil. What on earth is the matter with him? Is he losing his mind? All right, hang in there, Louis. Don't lose him. Rest assured, Your Eminence, uh, I'm fine. I... But... It's impossible... Rest assured, Your Eminence, I am fine. I've done it. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. Read the letters on the desk. S.S. Giovanni Angelo Rashi. Wait, is there a stamp? I don't see a stamp for the letters. There's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaget's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401-1793. 24. So it's... A. Today the date is twenty four oh one seventeen ninety three. A O one three. J. Wait, what? J A B C D E F G H I J three. It's got to be G then. it can't be F 31's there 3 is there G today the date is 2401 1793 okay 17 so be E today the date is 2401 1793 93 so 9 will be B Let me see. Nine. Today the date is twenty four oh one seventeen ninety three. Nine again. B. Today the date is twenty four oh one seventeen ninety three. And three J. Today is the 2401-1793. A-G-E-B-B-J. 
looks right. Choose contents right. of the letter. Well, let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. So, wait, it said to discredit home? It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm, there. That should be enough to justify the change of vote. <laughs> How do I know which stamp is for the letter, though? I know something about the stamp. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. I know that, the Pope's motto. And I remember that, Flore in Domo Domini. Okay. So, look at his stamp. It's definitely not the one on the left. We can look at the one in the middle. Okay. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. Okay, that's it. Latin. It blooms in the house of God. Use this one. I think that was correct. <laughs> we'll find out. Forged letter. Your eminence, all ready to send. What's he doing here? Oh, Damn God. It. That's all I need. Don't worry, he can't hear us. What do you mean he can't hear us? What's going on here? Because the old goat is going to drop us. It's a lousy turncoat. Well, he'd better not tell me he just fell asleep. Oh, God. Um, that he passed out. Wait, uh, what's this guy's? Walner Diversion. Calm down now. Monsieur de Richet came to see me because he was having anxiety attacks and wanted something to help him relax. I'm afraid I've been a little heavy handed. Uh, you could I say that word. He's I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is, and there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Uh, uh, no, listen, my son. This is all getting out of hand. Hogwash! I don't trust him in the slightest. Why not? Can you keep... A secret. Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We faced it enough Flabbergasted. Time. What if he wakes <laughs> up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? Not in my room. Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I, I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You mm -hmm. must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it.
capable of reporting me to Sir Gregory. Uh, I'm really risking my neck here. If you lay a finger on him, I'll denounce you to Sir Gregory. I'm warning you. You old weasel! Very well, Piaggi, you win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Which one is uh, Devil Storm? Oh, this guy. He gives you three essence Time points. To get back into my body. waiting for you in the red salon damn that was close one more we're in the dining room okay uh downstairs yep straight ahead should be good it's taking quite a turn I love it though. It's actually a very, very, very good game. I would say. <laughs> Stressful. Yeah, it can be. Especially because, like, the guide, I, like, I'm basically on my own. Like, the guide I was following is not right at all. It helped for some moments, but, like, at the end of the day, things don't really matter. Like, at all. <laughs> In the dining room. I thought this uh the dining hall. The other side. He said I had to go to the small salon, which is that right there. Some more. There he is. So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? <laughs> Here's your letter. I have to admit, the experience was utterly amazing. Come, tell me more. I almost threw up. Had to do it, it twice. Everything went as planned. I didn't encounter any particular difficulties. Well done, you. <laughs> Actually, On my though. first try, well, it took me three goes. But you did it. Gregory, what can I do for you? I've just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him, too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with all this. The end of the conference approaches, and this masquerade will soon be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of little faith. On the contrary, he reminds me brother, of Louis the father has just entered the from family. Fallout 4. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What place is that? At the end of a leash, like all the others. Don't listen to him. He's angry with our father. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Through fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are under his thumb and proud of it. Open your eyes for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated and he's too old to see it. He will lead us to our demise. There he goes with another of his grand speeches. William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. <laughs> How dare you? You are blind, brother. Even if the evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. Tea is drunk hot or not at all, William. When will you learn? The 
It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it does. When you speak of the right order, I can't help hearing your order. Louis, wouldn't you think that by now we've acquired a certain experience? Don't you think that we're the best place to know what the right order should be by now? I mostly understand that even with the best of intentions, this kind of talk could well be misinterpreted. Every powerful man has had to speak in this way at some stage. That doesn't mean that they were right or that they achieved great things. Take the kings of France, for example. They weren't all good monarchs. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time is over, and now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have to choose sides. I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. There you are, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. Right now? <coughs> right this second? If you follow William, he will drag you down with him. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You won't be blamed for your father's errors. Ah, oh, the masks are off. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose, and shamelessly asks you to betray your own father. That is their true face. Right. Before I answer, well, I better think it over very carefully. Do I intend to embrace my demon nature and take my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them? Or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? It's useless trying to resist my true nature. I'm a demon. May as well accept it. The you can't read the their, better. If we try reading their Even minds, they're going to know. A human, all my friends and acquaintances will inevitably end up dying. And I'll be left on my own. Forever. I'm a demon and I have to behave like one. The sooner, the better. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? I shall follow my father, Sir Gregory. Very well. But don't say I didn't warn you. Please, don't take offense, but I just can't turn my back on him. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition of Louisiana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops and prepare to close the debate. That's precisely what I was going to suggest. Come, follow me. It's time for us to get ready. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Do you really think we have a chance of winning? A chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us. And we'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is you. My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference is about to resume. The time has come to lay down all our cards. Oh boy. Eat points, cheese. <laughs> Oh, you get a lot this time.
one more right there. Chapter four. Oh man, final one. Three quests left. Uh, before we get started with that, I'm gonna fill up my water and then run to the bathroom and then we'll go ahead and uh, hopefully finish this game. Right, so be our- Not against any last minute surprises. I know my brother well. <laughs> Never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Why does he have his own tomb? Still rocking the black eye. Yeah, actually though. The entire game. <laughs> Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. You can do this. Oh, I know God. It. Very well, Father. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. He wants me to, to persuade everyone. Crazy. Slacking. Yeah, I was playing with Kiara. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, this time we'll look this up. Good luck. <laughs> well, we're going. I don't need luck. A rough. A rough. Mm. 
head to Good Day. Okay, where's Good Day's room? Bone apart. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Why can't we see the one room right here? Piagi's room? Oh, it's because we never explored it originally. Uh, if you visit Walner's room, he won't be in there. If you visit Piagi in his room, he will question Louie about the possession, but you can deflect. Hmm. Yeah, that's usually how my tired days goes to if you don't do anything it's like why am i tired for no reason Duke and then do anything <laughs> oh my god kiara I literally just gave you, oh my gosh. Oh, whoops, and we just went into our room. Get it. Yeah. It's behind you, go get it, yo. Baby. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. No matter how I look at it, between my affection for you and the confidence, I can't hide my disappointment at your changing sides, Louis. With all due respect to Lord Mortimer, how could you follow him like this? I understand your disappointment, Your Eminence, but I have good reason to. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... <sighs> you... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? Your Eminence, don't worry over such small matters. God sees you and knows the value of his servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind words. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, I imagine. And here I go rambling on everyone, about actually, uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. Your Eminence, trust me. I have faith in Lord Mortimer. Let me show you the way- What did you say? That I have faith in Lord Mortimer? No, after. Show you the way? Yes, Louis. You must show me the way. Guide me into the light. Yes, yes, your eminence. Come with me into the light. I, yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis, I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, your eminence. <laughs> Once again, thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, your eminence. I'll be on my way now. 
Nice. One down. All right. Uh, we got him. Now, who's this right here? Huh. That's me. That's me. <laughs> uh, good day's room. I think that's the one. One more over. Duke Manuel. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm surprised you dare speak oh, wait. to me. Manuel, now, good day. Okay, yeah. I hope so. Gregory will make you sorry for betraying him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? Wait, what? All right, ready? So here's the guy that I'm following. Head to Gaudet's room next, and he will readily join in on Mortimer's plan without Louis having to do any, do much to convince him. <laughs> what? I'm in a confrontation right now. <laughs> he looks very sure of himself. I wonder what he's got planned. Our intends to come to agreement with the king directly. It turns out that you're about to lose everything. Is that all? I've been given to understand that Lord Mortimer was going around Might be your choices, by definitely. dealing directly with the king. If you don't join him as soon as possible, you'll be deposed by your own sovereign. Luis, not only will you realize that I am the head of the government, but you'll come to learn it's not the king who needs cajoling. What do you mean exactly? Behind every great man, there is a great woman. Unfortunately for you, the place is already taken. I have already taken care of it. So I advise you to warn Mortimer to change strategies. Even so, something is wrong. No, really. Is that all you have? Right. Let us save time and stop the charade, Luis. In all friendship, I must say, this conference has allowed you to learn from the very best. But you are going too fast, in my opinion. Damn it. No good. I haven't persuaded him. You ought to grant me one more minute. That's enough, Luis. I have already stretched Sir Gregory's recommendations by granting you these few minutes. Enough is enough. I bid you good luck. I bid you good evening. And may the best man win. <laughs> yes, we shall see. Well played, Louis. At this rate, Louisiana is likely to remain Spanish forever. Dorishi! told you that I did not have time for you. I will ask There's you no to way leave redoing alone. that either, unfortunately. I don't think so. I uh, and then it also talks about Emily Hillsborough, but she's dead for me. Uh in the last episode, if you talk to Emily about her sibling, the discussion will go rather literally. You can find it in a Okay. Uh, fine talking with Sir Gregory, they'll mention. Okay. So, Warner should be somewhere in the hallway. And it was definitely because of my choices. I mean, I'm going to convince as many people as I can, but I don't know what the... What happens if I don't. Mm -hmm. There's a book. I don't think that they're up here. It looks like they're in the dining room. In the picture, or at least he is. Is it no? The dining room is all the way on the other side. Jeez. Okay, not that way. Um, we're gonna lose. No, we're not. Dude, worst case scenario, we just possess everyone. <laughs> I mean, it's only. Two more people. Really? And if we do lose, so be it. Whatever. I just want to see how this plays out, honestly. This game's not well known enough where there's multiple, like, 
known um, like pathways that you should take. Like the guy that I'm reading right now is literally a guide. Um, Blasted! Home is with him, gentlemen. Louis, I'm sorry. It's literally a guide of Manuel. how if they you played mind the game. Leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. Not I didn't mean a guide to on choices. <sighs> Just my luck. He'll only talk to the Duke, right? Well, I have to fix that. He'll only talk to the Duke. So now, guess what? Head back upstairs to Gaday's room and possess him. I'm a duke. <laughs> I'm a duke. I'm a duke. Gaday's room. I kind of wish he could run a little bit faster. I'll change his not his mind. Oh yes, I will. Yes, Monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. We push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. <laughs> I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. That's so cool. Someone said my name sounds like a movie star. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, God, no. Come over here. Them in 2K I'm warming service. myself up. <laughs> oh, okay. I had the misfortune to yeah, step outside and I'm frozen does. solid. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Godoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Uh, da -da -da -da. one sec. In Tom only serves his own interests. Home lied to us. He serves his own interests. Sir Gregory has been taking us for a ride right from the start. When it comes to this operation, he isn't championing the interests of our respective nations. All he cares about is beating Lord Mortimer at his own game. Oh, come, Manuel. Where are you getting this from? Name me even one decision by Sir Gregory that was in favor of Prussia. My God. Man, I didn't know you were so excessive. You don't want to answer? I will. Just uh, let me think. You're pinned down. You will only get mere crumbs out of Poland. It will go to Russia. And I hope you're ready for a global war because I doubt France will agree to our coalition. True. Said like that. I don't know. I'm not criticizing. I'm in the same boat as you. Spade will docilely follow Holm without getting anything in return. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, except he knew I was Gregory's son? He wouldn't try it on like this. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? But, uh, ah, 
Now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You mm -hmm. see, I'm full of surprises. He is In short, Gregory's son. Whether he's That's crazy. Or not, makes so does no that make him a demon? Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day. Even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is, at best, a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh... Tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to but be so confident. But telling me he's already ah, had dealings with people really? above, above us. Uh, ah, here it is. What do you all think of this that is just be? a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. Aye. Don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. How is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look. I hear everything you're saying. Final step, tell him the guests no already served. There is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. We have all joined Lord Mortimer. That leaves only you and... And that will suffice for us to win the conference. I see you coming, Manuel. That is no argument. I am what? no damn It lack. says it right there. It says it right there. It literally says, final step, tell him that all the guests are reserved to complete the confrontation. Like what? This guide, man. There's only you left. I'm leaving home. Has persuaded all of them to join. Tell him that all the guests already served to complete. What? It literally says it in the guide. I hate that. Oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> Convince. Or... Guide. Yes, actually though, like it, it legit bothers me because it literally says it like right there. Like it, it's killing me inside. How how could that be wrong? Like that's twice now that this guide has messed me up. Like the other time where he said if you tell them nothing, then he'll just walk away. And it turns out not to be the case. Let me see what the, the video shows. And then swaying the decisions. Too late. Ah, I'm getting a bad feeling. What does he do for this final one? Now, you're the last one left. You're fine, you'll be vent your position or your life in the Okay. This one, it said, if you said you're the last one, yeah, don't use the guide then. Now, you're the last one. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. But if you sometimes don't it your works, mind, sometimes it doesn't. You'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who, who will be hostile At least we had two chances that time. Just think about it rationally, I mean it. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Ooh, yes. Okay, we got him. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. 
Good luck to you. Good luck. Nice. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my lord duke. Have a nice rest. <laughs> All right, let's see convince George Washington again. Alright, well, we're going... Uh, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna go whatever happens, happens for the rest of the way. Following these guys is too stupid. Just kill everyone. Yeah, right. Honestly, just unleash it. Take control of everybody at the same exact time. Wing it? Yeah, let's... Whatever. We'll just wing it. <laughs> I might... I might know George Washington enough... Or well enough to be able to convince him. We don't need we don't need a perfect ending. But it would be cool to to have everybody. It's Mr. your story, President, my guy. True. I was looking for you. Well, and I That's you, the one would thing. you believe it? What on earth are you up to now? You make me change my mind for the vote of the conference, and then you proceed to change sides yourself? Yes, I I do understand you being surprised. I'm sorry, but there have been new developments since then. What are you talking about? You're the one who is right. It's pretty me in the end. In fact, you were right. I've been thinking about it since our discussion, and I've been able to talk to the other guests. You should have listened to me, you young fool. You were absolutely right. Please accept my humblest apologies, sir. All right, all right. I have my share of responsibility, too. After all, I didn't have to listen to you. Listen, I must apologize once again, but it's not too late. Louis, listen. This is the last time you'll be dragging me into any such schemes. You realize you are playing with the destinies of nations. For goodness sake, grow up, young man. You're right, Mr. President. I cannot apologize enough. Please come back to us. Of course I shall come back. But from now on, please keep me out of your shenanigans. Hey. I promise, Mr. President. And try to stick with one opinion, at least until the vote. You have my word. Good. Now, leave me. I have work to do. <laughs> he is not happy, but I understand. At least it was super easy to bring him back. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be like that. I thought it was going to be a full on like confrontation again. Dude, my... Ugh. The fan for my streaming PC goes off like every like three or four minutes. It goes like haywire and makes a lot of